It looks like the classic Bella Macchina, an artifact of the golden age of Italian sports cars. But this one is not a Bertoni or a Pininfarina creation. It was designed and built single-handedly by Johannes Paulusen. The Berardino is a two-seater in the tradition of the 1960s sports cars. Johannes Paulusen has been honing his personal automotive vision for more than 50 years now. At 17, he began dreaming of a super sports car, one that would surpass the Ferrari 275 or the Ford GT40. He explains that his original idea was not necessarily to build his own car, just to own one. But when he showed his father what cars like that cost, he was told he would never be able to afford one. The Berardino may look like a pricey sports car by one of the elite makers, but nearly every part of it was designed and built by Paulusen himself, with a visual and technical quality that impresses even the experts. The automotive technology graduate put around 7,000 hours into it, from the first drafts to the completed automobile. He says the drawings were the first step, but the first sketches he made when he was 17 were a bit immature. They began looking more professional after he learned technical drawing as a student. He based the car on the final drawings. He still thinks his final design images were quite good. To finalize the design, Paulusen had to fashion a 3D model of the body. He says only when he started building the model did the project take on the third dimension and the appearance of the actual car. Making it was a piece of work. By the late 1960s, he was creating true-to-scale models from plaster. He made the final draft design on a scale of one to one. Paulusen built a negative mold and laminated the Berendino's body in fiberglass reinforced plastic. After seven years in the making, the Berendino was ready to roll. Paulusen acquired the mechanical components like axles and the engine from Porsche. The 110 horsepower engine swiftly carried his 1,000 kilogram creation to a speed of 200 kilometers an hour, a respectable performance for the early 1970s. In 1975, the Berendino got the blessings of the state inspectors. Paulusen explains that he was in constant contact with the state inspection point in Cologne, the only one that is authorized to deal with prototypes. He had tailored the interior of the barely one meter high Berendino to his own one meter 70 height and located the instruments in the center console to save space. The two liter six cylinder boxer engine from the Porsche 911 is mounted in the rear. Unusual are the auxiliary instruments in the engine compartment. Paulusen calls it a service panel and it's unique to the Berendino. It comes in very handy when he services the engine. He can even start the engine from the back when he synchronizes the carburetors. He put all the instruments needed for the 911 engine in the rear, such as the oil pressure and temperature gauges. Paulusen even built various model versions of his Berardino. Besides the fastback, there's a notchback, with a different hatch. And if so desired, he can even convert the sports car into a breezy roadster. The convertible is version three. And Paulusen sees a bright future for the Berardino. 
He says he's got plans for modernizing the car to make it attractive to today's drivers. It's not a matter of copying the now vintage sports car, but of redesigning it with cutting edge components and technology. Paulusen is on the lookout for partners willing to contribute to the new Berardino. That would make Johannes Paulsen's dream come true to see the spirit of the Berardino live on.